Hello, hello. So welcome to this beautiful Ulta. Um, if you are new to my page, hi, I'm Dr. Alyssa Antica. I'm a transpersonal therapist and I specialize in treating trauma, specifically childhood trauma that affects you on all these different levels. So if you were with me this morning during our live each morning, our healing that I do that incorporates um, both cognitive wisdom and knowledge, as well as the more pragmatic habits and meditation and clearing, as well as the energetic, the supernatural, the spiritual stuff, then um, you learned a lot. But I want to cover just a little bit of that for you guys today as a bonus here. Thank you for being in Unstoppable Confidence and um, how trauma kind of heals, what you can kind of look at and how you can really form this beautiful relationship in to you see. Now, some of you I know have been on this page and watching me for years, some of you for a few decades. And you come around for um, all the free stuff. You're super supportive. You're super beautiful. And you're waiting for that breakthrough. You're waiting for that sign to say, hey, this is my year to work with Dr. Alicia. Well, I just opened up 12 spots for you. So I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. I'm super excited about it because it came through spirit this morning. And I'm putting it into action. And I know that it's just going to hit the most beautiful person. And hopefully that person is you. So if this resonates with you, this is your year. Go for it. Shine. Take this yes and climb in. All right. So how does trauma heal? What I've learned through years of working through my own personal childhood trauma, as well as helping others heal their trauma from my very, very beginnings in 1998, when I became a yoga instructor and started helping people learn how to heal their bodies and work with that through my own cancer experiences that deepened that practice within me through um, becoming a coach and learning about mindset and meditation and living on the ashram with Amitri and, and studying different forms of meditation and mindset rejuvenation and endocrine resetting, like all of the stuff that I went through in my 20s um, that I help people walk through. What I, and I began my journey to help you heal trauma is just another story for another day, but I don't want to get into it, but it's like, leading up to this point. So I want to share with you the, the phases of healing trauma. So you can one, know which phase you're in one, two, three, or four. This is not only my information, but it's also clinical information. This is information that was backed up by um, studies that I teach on. You can look at my phases of healing through TikTok. Say hello if you're live with me. Um, and what we're going to do is um, just see where you're at in this in this process. I help people in every part of this process. And I'm probably going to share, I don't know, maybe I'll share a little bit of like what's best for you if you're in this process. Okay. So first phase, and then we're going to go through the four phases of healing. Then we're going to go through the five sheets or levels in which trauma lives and cycles in your life. So you can finally break that cycle of trauma affecting your life, childhood trauma, lifetime trauma, all of this, um, generational trauma, trauma bonds, the whole bit, okay, all of it, and um, what, what you can do next. Now, this is if you work with me. I'm a one-shop stop. <laughs> I just am. I've trained myself this way. Um, life has trained me this way, but you can go to other practitioners, other people, and I'm going to kind of share with you in this little live, like what you can do there. So. Welcome and hello. I'm looking over here because I have two screens and um, I'm trying to see like who's who's live with me and see if I can see the comments. But I'm not quite seeing the comments yet, so we'll just we'll just do it. Anastasia, hi, hello. Thank you for the like. Beautiful, welcome, beautiful. Okay. So how do you know if trauma is affecting your life and where you're in it? So the first phase that we are in is actually victimhood. So if you were raised in trauma, this victimization seems very normal and it looks two ways. It looks like the outside coming in and the, and the inside staying in or the inside going out. 
So there's actually three angles to this. The first angle um, of being a victim is being victimized. So you feel powerless. You feel like you have no choice. There's no way out. You have, you're being victimized, right? So you have to like hand over your money if you're being like held in gunpoint or whatever, you have to hand over your money. Um, somebody's screaming at you and you just have to take the screaming. You are being sexually abused or abused in the house. You're just, you're just in that situation. You don't see a way out. This is victimization. Now we victimize ourselves, even as we're in struggle, we might call this struggle, but we victimize ourselves in life too. This is um, utilizing drugs and alcohol. This is negative self-talk. This is um, eating disorders. This is all of that. Now we also pass on this victimization and victimize others. This is negative speaking to somebody else. This is beating and hitting our kids. This is um, neglect of any sort, neglecting yourself, neglecting others. All of these things are victimization, whether you're robbing somebody, stealing somebody, or, or forcing somebody to do something. It's very controlling, convincing, narcissistic, and abusive. And it's there. We all have tendencies to do this. Nobody's incapable of it, but it is it is a place that we need to know that we are when we are there, okay? Now, once the victim, usually the survivor, those of you I'm assuming that is in this group, once you are in this place and you're like, okay, here's here's the survivor. I'm, I'm you know, I no longer want to be victimized. I want to move to this field of survivor. I want to survive this victimhood. Then you have to make a choice, okay? And this choice means I'm no longer going to be victimized by the other person. I'm going to get the divorce. I'm going to leave the relationship. I'm going to move out of my parents' house. I'm going to recognize the abuse. I'm going to start learning coping skills. So when we're in survival mode, we're learning coping skills. And um, so you might be going to therapy in this mode. Victimization, you're not getting help. You might be begging for help, praying for help, all this stuff, but you're like in it. In survival mode, you're getting some help. So maybe you go to a teacher and you get help or or you call a parent or you go seek help. You go to an addiction, AA, NA, you, um, you seek therapy. You begin to develop your coping skills. So um, this includes how to set boundaries. This includes recognize the power and control wheel. What is abuse? So look it up, Google it, power and control wheel. What is abuse? Um, this is educating yourself on your own symptoms. So for childhood sexual abuse survivors, our typical symptoms are eating disorders um, of all sorts, pelvic pain, pelvic disorders. Eventually we get um, autoimmune disorders. Sometimes those start pretty soon, depending on how powerful the body is. We'll talk about that in a minute. And um, then we also have anxiety and depression, of course. I think the whole world has those. Um, we have mood regulation disorders because we weren't allowed to feel and we we're made wrong for feeling. We have um, negative self-talk, we're bad, we're dirty, we're ugly, we're nasty, all of that stuff. We have hyper or hypersexuality, hypo or hypersexuality. Um, that's usually a regulation. Many of us have um, drug and alcohol issues, gambling issues, shopping issues. Um, codependence is really, really common, not knowing how to set boundaries, not knowing how to make choices. And we look to the outside world for a lot of validation to tell us what's safe to do, what's not safe to do. This is all common. This is all normal. So you start recognizing this in this survival mode and learning how to cope with it, learning how to have new habits. And when you're in this mode, okay, when you're in survival mode, get help, get help to get out of it. All right. I can kind of help with that, but not so much. Once you're in or in victim mode, I mean, once you're in survival mode though, starting with she, our group C, sexual healing embodied for women or him, high integrity men for, for men is really, really important. These are the daily habits. These are the coping skills. These are the things that I gift you, right? It's 33 bucks a month. It's a tiny investment of you choosing you, 75 cents a day. It's less than a cup of coffee to, to really empower you on how, how you can balance the five sheets, which I'll talk about in a minute, and the two actions, the four sheets and two actions, your soul, your soul is your soul. Um, and I'll get to that in a second. But she and him is really, really beautiful. So you're developing those skills, you might get some therapy. So working with me as a therapist is really great getting some private therapy going and getting therapy in your area. Another place that's really good here is NA or AA or the 12 steps in any way. 
whether it's for overeaters anonymous or COVID or um, uh, CODA, which is codependence anonymous, or um, AA or NA. Okay, all of that is really really good. So those are some free options, some super cheap options, and some some um, other options for you to choose. Choose yourself. Start knowing yourself. Start looking at yourself and dealing with the the things you have to survive. How to make money, how to earn money, how to hold down a job, how to put together a resume. All of these things are really normal if you grow up in struggle and survival, okay, in victim mode. So that's the next layer. The next labor layer I call living, okay? So when you're in the living layer, you have your, your coping skills pretty much down. You're beginning to learn how to make choice. So this is where I recommend the Amazing You program. This is where I really recommend you defining you, learning about manifestation, learning what you like in life, learning how your formula, how to take care of these layers I'm going to talk about in just a second, the layers that trauma lives. Um, not from a coping mechanism, mechanisms and healing and, and striving and fixing and, and all of that that you do in survival mode, but in this pathway of of what do I choose for me? What's for my highest good? Who do I desire to be? What does this look like? I call this living. And in the living mode, you might be an activist. For somebody, you might be speaking out and educating people about what happens to you. Um, you might be donating your time or your money to this cause. A lot of us become educators, become healers, become helpers in this area. We, we feel that power, that stuff, but then we slip back into survival mode. And sometimes we even slip back into victim mode, going through a victimization again, and then have to like cycle this, this process again. So having the support around you that you had when you were in survival mode, you know, your daily love letters, maybe from she or him, um, a supportive therapist or coaching in this area, really looking at how you're choosing, what you're choosing, but really focusing on you. So you can start developing intimacy, intimacy into yourself. So into yourself, seeing, and then pulling out those beautiful best parts of you that you want the rest of the world to see, that you want to nurture, that you want to love, that you want to thrive with, while not denying any of the parts of you that are still in survival mode, in coping mode or in victimization, either whether it's a habit of victimizing yourself, others, or being victimized. Because sometimes we just get in that car accident or we get ourselves in a situation again or, or we get too drunk, right? Or something like that happens. So it's about learning how to be in this flow, okay? And then the last phase of this is really thriving. It's where you lay claim to your life. You are co-creating. You learn about manifestation. I'm doing my amazing magnitude class in this realm right now. You know who you are. You know what you want to create. You're creating. You're learning how to co-create. You really have, feel your power in your life. You really feel this. Um, you might step into your highest career. This is where money tends to flow easier. You feel that safety, that security, that joy, that peace. And you still have the memories and everything of the victimization or the struggle of the survival, right? And all this, but a lot of the things that you were surviving have already healed. So for me, like my cancer went away, my PTSD is, is gone for 99% of the time. Um, I, I have memories, but I don't have flashbacks anymore. My relationships are pretty damn good. Um, I'm, you know, present with my boundaries. I, I'm earning and doing my thing. It's like everything is like in, in a flow. It keeps happening. It doesn't mean there's not hangups and, and coping skills that I still use or victimization stories that I run every once in a while. I feel sorry for myself and sad, right? And, and buy into some of those old stories, but I can flow through it. I have acceptance and I have, I have this plan to visualize and to step into my big life. So this is the amazing you journey. It's also... Um, in this realm is one place, especially if you've had childhood sexual abuse, that my reclaim intimacy um, treatment plan and program is so powerful because you reclaim pleasure, happiness, joy, and abundance. You reclaim how to create your life and step into it without, without the fear holding you back, with, with, without the old stuff, without the um, generational stuff without the struggle. It's really, really beautiful. All right. So now I want to just cover really fast when we go through this in the master classes. Um, the next master class that's coming up in this group is going to be on amazing magnitude. It's going to be on 
creating your reality, how we call different things into rea our reality, what, what kinds of things happen in that reality, and, um, and what it looks like, okay? But in Amazing You, all of this happens. So the way and the places that you live, hello, hello, welcome. So the amazing and the places that trauma lives. Okay, so if you're stuck in this trauma, right? You're in one of these phases. So which phase you are, are in, if you're watching the replay or you're live, comment below and let me know what phase you think that you're in or what phases you're fluctuating to and fro, right? And, um, and just breathe into that. Now, next, which area of your life is, is most effective or exhausted with, with the trauma, okay? We're always going to either heal or deal with the trauma. We have to deal with it, whether it's cycling, right? It can just be cycling and cycling and cycling and cycling. And it's like the same day, different, different outfit, same day, different outfit, same partner, different body suit, right? Same job, different struggle or same struggle, different job, right? So it's, it, it's going to, you're going to deal with it forever until you face it and heal it. And to face it and heal it means acknowledging that you are victimized, walking through the coping skills and learning the things that you need to learn personally for you, going into choosing, choosing your reality, and then, and then moving into thriving, learning how to work reality so you are no longer um, subject to the world around you, looking outside of you for answers, all that stuff. Okay, so the first tool that you have is your physical body. So if you haven't watched the replay of the masterclass on how trauma lives in your physical body, I have a whole masterclass on here. Go to guides, watch the masterclass. If you're not in, if for some reason you're seeing this on YouTube or something else and you're not in my Unstoppable Confidence group, um, join lishaantica.com, lishaantica.com. Join Unstoppable Confidence. It's absolutely free. You're going to get access to my Facebook group and um, all of the master classes that are happening, the replays when I offer a master class and open up the next master um, group. And uh, that happens every year. So just go in, do it, click it, you're good to go. Now, if you're in the group already watching this live, you know, the physical body is the first one. So watch that masterclass, go to guides, watch that masterclass. Amazing body is what I offer. The amazing you journey. If you choose to take that with me, I'm going to tell you my gift around it. Um, in just a second, I'm so excited. I really, really, I'm so excited. Uh, I can't even believe that I'm doing this. I'm like, how is this time going to open up in my calendar? But it's, it's going to be beautiful. It's totally, I'm so blessed. It's going to be beautiful. So, um, your physical body. How does it affect in your physical body? Are you physically drained? What is happening in your physical body? Okay. This is one area of our lives that trauma continues to live until you heal it and face it. And it will just cycle. You might go from one health crisis to the next, to the next, to the next. That's where I was. I was like one health crisis to the next health crisis, to the next health crisis, to the next health crisis. It was just my 20s. And it sucked balls. It sucked bad. You can learn all about it. Mm. So that's the first. The second layer is your mental mind. So again, I've already done the masterclass in Unstoppable Confidence. Go to your guides, watch your masterclass on the amazing mind. So your mind works within layers too, but it's pictures and stuff. It's the end when we're living in the survival mode or the victim mode, victim mode is really outside of yourself. You're just like, what's happening? You know, hypervigilance all over the place. In um, survival mode, it's, it's memories, it's processing, it's figuring out, figuring out, figuring out. So if your brain is just exhausted trying to figure it out, if, if you were exhausted or you're in the future, just worrying about what's happening or how it's going to work out or where the money's going to come from or this or that, like, this is where you get to reprogram your mind. You get to retrain your mind. How do you work with your mind? How did your mind work as a mental health specialist? I um, got to learn how to diagnose and how to look at that and how I look at diagnoses, be it depression or anxiety, which are um, emotional diagnoses, not mental diagnoses. Um, but 
but when I look at diagnoses, it's like, how does the brain work, right? What is the pathways that your brain is working, whether it's BPD or DID or, or narcissistic personality disorders, um, bipolar, ADHD, ADD, um, the spectrum of narcissism and toxic empath, like, like all of that, all of those spectrums, like how does your mental health diagnosis help you know how your mind works so you can take those coping skills and, and learn how to thrive, right? Every coping skill, every person, no matter how your brain works, you can thrive. So watch that video, watch the masterclass I already gave um, in 2022 about your amazing mind. And then of course, you can join the online program, Amazing Mind, or when it comes up, you can join my next um, Amazing Mind group where we actually do the subliminal reprogramming. We actually do things and I share different tips and tools with you. Um, and of course, with my private clients, I'm going to. Now, the next phase that trauma lives is in your emotional body. So this one isn't talked about so much. It's talked about more now. We have like DBT therapy um, that helps with that. Now, depression and anxiety are both emotional components. The emotions are really deemed bad. A lot of people cut off their emotions. A lot of victims are told, if you cry, I'll beat you more, right? Like, um, I'll give you something to cry about, all of this stuff. So this is not how you want to work with that, right? We have to get in survival mode. When you're in survival mode, you're like overwhelmed with your emotions. You don't want to cry anymore. You don't want to be sad anymore. You don't want to be angry anymore. You don't want to be pissed off anymore. It's like, blah, 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 right? How do you deal with this? So my course, Amazing Emotions, we go into this. We do your blueprint, your power, where your power is in your emotions. But when you connect these three together, your physical actions, your habits, your mental mind, your belief systems, and your emotions, that's how you create your reality. So you create this magnetic field, this magnetic reality that's going to shift you. Now, you're, um, we're going to get into that in two seconds. But that masterclass for amazing emotions and me sharing about the four phases of emotions and these different energy frequencies of emotions, emotions are energy in motion, they're music, really, right? You're beaten to your own tune, have your own drum, right? Drum beat, like that's all emotion. So my masterclass in this group, Amazing Emotions, is going to explain that. And we're doing that particular group right now. So if you missed it this time, it will come up in about in a couple months. The next masterclass that if you're in Unstoppable Confidence right now, that is coming up the beginning of the year, 2023, is going to be Amazing Magnitude. So what you have is you have a vibe. You know how when somebody walks into a room, like you can just feel them, like you can like sense them, like they just have a vibe. You can sense their vibe, right? If you're hypervigilant, this vibration might like, you might feel everybody else's something. You might be a highly sensitive person feeling everybody else's stuff. This is also your perspective on life and your, um, your relationship with God's source or authority and authority. So I'm going to be talking more about this in the upcoming masterclass. We're going to deep dive into this, but this is how you perceive your reality. So if you keep like repeating the same thing, right? You notice yourself kind of being more like your mom or your dad. You go through the same circumstances. You're stuck in the same financial um, category, mid middle class, lower class, upper class, whatever it is, right? You um, have these family patterns that just keep going, 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 and going. And you're like stuck in this vicious loop. This is the level that you get out of this loop. You shift your perspective and you begin to be able to create a new life for yourself right? Create that new life for yourself. Now, of these, I see them as like four wheels of a car. Of these four wheels, you want them balanced, but they're often not. So when I walk people through the amazing you journey in personalized therapy, we figure out what you need to balance this out. So everything's working together. So you have all, you're in four wheel drive. Everything is working together on this path to healing from the trauma. And you can invite your seat seat of your soul, your, your soul self, your true self, your authentic self, your, your master self into the driver's seat to drive yourself wherever the hell you want to go or heaven you want to go. Right. And um, that's the point of amazing you. So in amazing you, you also have the other two layers. So this is how do you take 
that part of you, that who you are, and bring it into relationships. So this is boundary setting. This is knowing what you want. This is um, having a relationship with yourself and what that looks like. This is trust and rebuilding trust and passion and all these things. The Reclaim Intimacy is another program that I do in my personalized training that is about um, sex and sexuality, pleasure and creative energy. This heals um, sexual dysfunction, sexual sexuality and relationships and heals intimacy. Okay. Amazing You is like, who am I? And um, Reclaim Intimacy is now let me share this with a partner or with the world or define my own relationship. You're reclaiming that sexual relationship that was taken from you as a child if by chance you were also abused as a child. So we have these relationships. So we're going to heal with that. That master class will come up um, sometime in February, end of February. And then um, the next master class is about your purpose. So many of my clients, if not all of my clients, um, fall into abundance. They, they make more money. They step into their purpose. They get their dream jobs. Um, as you step into your truth, into your own authenticity, then um, that broken, poor, pitiful you, that struggling self, that identity releases and you step into this place where you're magnetizing more abundance, more opportunity, more joy into your life. You're able to say, this is what I want. This is what I want to do. You're able to go after your dreams and, and step into that. So we talk about that. We do therapy around that. We lean into that and that's this whole method. So we'll be doing a masterclass on that probably, let's see, February, April, okay, April, um, March or April and, and dive deeply into that. So if that group program speaks to you, awesome. Be on the lookout, stay in this group, do that. But right now I have something super, super special. If this resonates with you, where are you at in this place? If you're like, I want to work with you, Lisha. I've been waiting to work with you, but I don't have the money. I hear this all the time because of this broken, broken struggle, survival commitment that we have to keep struggling, keep surviving because we don't know how to live yet because we were just in victimhood, right? So if you're in this place where you're like, I'm ready to up level my life. I want to find me in all these places. I'm willing to commit one year to, to claim my healthy body, to get my mind on track, to learn about my emotions, to, to take back authority in my life, to have better relationships and clean house there and to step into my purpose and say, yes, more abundance and money. And I, I know this is around trauma. I know trauma is blocking me. I know that um, I've been struggling in this for far too long. Traditional therapy hasn't worked, blah, 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 whatever the story is. And you have been making excuses and you're ready to get off the fence. For this week and this week only, it is 1221 solstice. Okay, it's the dark night of the soul right here, right now. Solstice, darkest night, thinnest veil, ready to see into you. I'm making this offer. Spirit told me to today through um, the 1st, January 1st. This can be on the table. There's only 12 spots open, only 12 spots open. Okay, and um, that's it. You can take either of my courses. Both of these are therapy. So therapy is a year-long process when it comes to identity therapy, healing trauma therapy. It's a year-long process. You're committing to yourself for that year, for this journey, okay? There's monthly payments and there's painful options. You're going to get 50% off, okay? That basically means you're going to get one whole therapy session a month for free for this commitment. Plus the amazing you or... Um, reclaim intimacy, whole treatment plan, courses, videos, the whole thing for free for registering for a whole year with me. Okay. It's only open this week, it's only happening right now. And um, only 12 people get it. So if you've been thinking about working with me, take that link above and the, and the coupon code. Okay. And you get 50% off every month. That coupon code there is going to be Blessed, all lowercase, blessed 2023. Blessed 2023. So this aligns with you, blessed 2023. This is personal coaching, or not coaching, this is personal therapy. Okay. This is not my group programs. This is not the classes. This is not coaching. This is not healing. This is 
group therapy, I mean, group therapy. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is personalized therapy. This is all about you. All about you. So if you've been on the fence, if you've wondered if money has been an issue and you're like, yes, I'm just going to do it. It is less than a car payment. It's less than my utility bill is very limited. People can get into this. It is happening right now. So jump into it and um, take the link above or wherever it is here. Um, I also did a post below if you're un in Unstoppable Confidence or Reclaim Intimacy and, um, and thrive. Come and thrive. Come and step into this next evolution of you. You know, I, I've been doing this work for a long time. If you've been watching me, you've been watching me through not only my healing and my own evolution, but my own education and my commitment to this path, right? If you've been on my email list or in this group for a long time, you know this. If this keeps speaking to you, do this. If you've already gone through this program, please give a testimonial. Tell people that are on the fence, like the value that you got from this program, if that feels like something you want to do and help me with. Um, but this is an offer that I felt led by spirit to just put out there for you that are like truly broke, right? Truly broke, but not broken, like willing to see yourself, willing to take that, that yes, I can do this, willing to invest in yourself, right? This is a, a year commitment. Even if you choose to hold off and like pause your, your therapy, that therapy will be there, but the payments continue. Um, you get access to the online course, which is a thousand dollar value. You get boxer support for 30 minutes a month, which is $111 value. You um, get she or him if you choose to for $22 a month instead of an additional $22 a month instead of $33 a month when you register. Um, there's a lot of real blessings in this. So if this is something that speaks to you, if you've wanted to work with me privately and um, money has been an issue, then this is your opportunity for 2023. I don't know if I'll ever, 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 ever offer it again. I just felt led by spirit in this fine veil day. And I will, um, I will honor it. I always will honor what I'm led by spirit to do. So I hope that this blessed you and uh, I see you and, um, you know, go be amazing. You.